In Paul's epistle to Titus, chapter two, verse nine and 10, the apostle says the following, urge bond slaves to be subject to their own masters in everything, to be well-pleasing, not argumentative, not pilfering, but showing all good faith so that they will adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in every respect. You know, the majority of us have an employer or supervisor of some kind who oversees our work. In this passage, Paul reminds us that we have a specific responsibility to provide a witness of our faith to this person. After all, very few people actually pay attention to our work, and so the one who does so can be impressed for good or bad, depending on what he learns about us on the job. In this regard, Paul gives workers three things to do in order to influence the boss in a Christian way. Number one, be obedient. Let the boss know that you understand and accept your respective positions. Number two, be pleasant. You know, there's nothing more annoying for employers about an employee who complains about everything and turns every matter into an issue. And number three, be honest. The temptation is always great to take home company stock, cut time, pad the account. You know, the boss always knows who's stealing even though it can't be proven. Paul tells us that most employers know the basics of the faith, but through these methods, servants, that is the employees, can adorn, meaning can make shine like jewelry, the gospel, so it becomes desirable for the boss himself. Are we impressing the boss in a way that really counts?